zero and ten thousand. When I say between zero and ten thousand, I require a single digit number. I require a two digit number. I require a three digit number. I require a four digit number. I require a four digit number. The lowest five digit number is nothing but ten thousand and all these numbers. Single digit number, two digit number, three digit numbers, four digit numbers. They have only one digit equal equal to five. One digit equivalent to five. So the I will keep four places. I will keep four places. Now see here. Listen carefully. Have only one digit equivalent to five. That one digit equivalent to five can be unit digit can be five. Case number one. Unit digit can be five. Case number two. Tens place can only be five. Tens place can only be five. Case number three. Hundreds place can only be five. Case number four. Thousands place can only be five. Can only be five. Now see here. One by one. That means five can shift from units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. Five can take four positions. I'll come to it. Here leftmost. Generally leftmost. We will what we will do is we will take it from one to nine. We will take it from one to nine if the number is a four digit number. But I want a single digit number, two digit number, three digit number, and a four digit number. So leftmost, if I keep zero, I will get all the possible three digit number. So it can take all the values. From zero to nine, excluding five. Why? Because this number has got only one digit equivalent to five. Zero to nine, there are ten digits. Five is not possible, so it will be nine. Here also zero to nine. Here five not possible. Zero to nine. Here five not possible. That means nine into nine into nine. Nine into nine into nine is the number of ways of arranging three places. Of arranging three places, nine into arranging three places. The other place is occupied by five. Five can shift from units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. Again here zero to nine, five cannot come. Zero to nine, five cannot come. Zero to nine, five cannot come. Only one digit that is five. Zero to nine, five cannot come. Zero to nine. All the cases are similar. Nine into nine into nine is only we are getting. Zero to nine, five cannot come. Zero to nine, five cannot come. Zero to nine, five cannot come. Nine into nine into nine into nine. Five can shift from units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. Why these four we got? Five can be there in units place. Five can be there in tens place. Five can be there in hundreds place. Five can be there in thousands place. So answer is nothing but eighty one seven twenty nine into four seven twenty nine into four. Which is nothing but two nine one six. Good question. How many integers between zero and ten thousand? Remember, the leftmost can also take zero. Suppose see here, zero one two three. A four digit number became a three digit number. Zero zero twenty three. A four digit number became a two digit number. By keeping zeros in the leftmost places, you will get the subset of the total numbers. For a four digit number, leftmost one zero, I will get a three digit number. Leftmost two zeros, I will get a two digit number. Very very good question, sir. How many integers between zero and ten thousand? I have only one digit equivalent to five. Answer is. Four into nine cube. Four into nine cube. First question. Second question. How many? How many odd numbers between hundred thousand and nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine? So the numbers are between. That means it should be greater than thousand and it should be less than. Five nines, and it should be less than five nines. Have distinct digits. What do you mean by distinct digits? Repetition of digits is not allowed. Repetition of digits is not allowed. Repetition of digits is not allowed. First, when you read the question, half of the work will be done. Now there are 
four digit numbers any natural number greater than 1000 and less than 9999 is a four digit number it is an odd number odd number means units place will be odd number means units place will be 1 3 5 7 and 9 1 3 5 7 and 9 now if you see here here 0 cannot come here 0 cannot come generally how many digits are there here generally the digits are from 0 1 2 and so on up to 9 and so on up to 9 now one digit is fixed here so remaining 9 digits are there in 9 digits 0 cannot come so 8 digits can come what are that 8 digits it can take 1 2 if it is 1 here it can take 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 i hope it is clear one units place one digit is fixed so generally the digits are from 0 to 9 total 10 digits units place it can take either 1 3 5 7 or 9 one digit is fixed remaining 9 digits are there in that 9 digits 0 cannot come in that 9 digits 0 cannot come so it is 8 so out of 10 digits out of 10 digits this place is fixed and this place is fixed remaining how many are there 8 remaining how many are there 7 remaining here units place how many are there 5 so this is nothing but 8 into 8 into 7 into 5 8 into 8 into 7 into 5 why this 5 came it can take any value 1 3 5 7 or 9 why this 8 came here 0 cannot come leftmost here 1 can 1 or 3 or 5 or 7 or 9 1 among this cannot come so out of 10 digits 2 digits cannot come remaining 8 can come out of 10 digits leftmost is fixed rightmost is fixed remaining how many digits are there eight digits are there remaining how many digits are there seven digits are there eight into eight into seven into five so 64 into 35 is the answer 64 into 35 is the answer which is nothing but 64 into 5 into 7 64 into 5 is 320 320 into 7 which is nothing but 2240 which is nothing but 2240 second question very very good question next one find the number of positive integers okay positive integers is nothing but natural numbers positive integers is nothing but natural numbers which can be formed using any number of digits from 0 1 2 3 4 5 but using each digit not more than once using each digit not more than once so each digit is used only once repetition of digits is not allowed that is the meaning of the line repetition of the digits is not allowed repetition of the digits is not allowed listen carefully the find the number of positive integers which can be formed by using any number of digits s1 s1 means let us see how many single digit numbers can be formed how many single digit numbers can be formed single digit numbers zero is not a natural number so single digit here it can take any value 1 2 3 4 or 5 so total single digit positive integers are 5 by using any number of digits he has not specified whether you want a six digit number or a five digit number so any number of digits means i can start from s1 is a single digit number suppose s2 i want a two digit numbers two digit numbers a two digit number will have units place as well as a tens place units place as well as tens place here unit tens place cannot have zero because it's a two digit number here it can take one two three four five one two three four five so here any one out of the five numbers will come so zero to five zero one two three four five how many digits are there six digits are there one digit it is already fixed so this can take the remaining five digits five into five two digit numbers are five fives are twenty five five fives are 25 total six digits are there leftmost cannot take zero six digits are there leftmost cannot take zero it can take any other five digits so five 
out of six digits one digit is fixed in the leftmost remaining five digits are there so one one event after the other event five into five twenty five s three s three is nothing but a three digit number s three it is nothing but total number of three digit numbers three digit means here zero cannot come because it's a three digit number if it starts from zero i will get a two digit number so here one two three four five any one out of the five numbers will come so it is five zero to five totally six digits are there leftmost one digit is fixed so remaining this will take another five digits total six digits are there leftmost two digits are fixed remaining how many four 25 fours are 100 total number of three digit numbers are 100 single digit numbers are five right two digit numbers are 25 three digit numbers are 100 still we have to do till six digit numbers because total six digits are there again we will take s yes, four total four digit numbers total four digit numbers once you understand these are very very easy questions four digit numbers four digit numbers here zero cannot come any one out of the five will come any one out of the five will come out of six digits one digit is fixed remaining five out of six digits two digits are fixed remaining four again three so these are nothing but 300 totally four digit numbers are 300 yes five yes five it is nothing but total five digit numbers total five digit numbers he is asking find the total number of natural numbers that can be formed by using the digits i can get a single digit two digits three digits four digits still six digits i will get five digit number here zero cannot come so it is five out of ten one is fixed five four three two so here it is nothing but 2500 which is nothing but 600 600 s6 yes, s6 yes, is nothing but six digit number six digit number these nothing but total six digit number here it is five cases here it is five here it is four three two and here it is one so it is nothing but total 600 seven digit numbers and everything repetition of the digits is not allowed so i want total number of natural numbers so what i'll do s1 plus s2 plus s3 and so on up to s6 i will do whatever the values that you got please add that values that is nothing but the total number of natural numbers little bit of counting is required but the process is very very easy please remember he is not asking a six digit number he is asking all the possible natural numbers that can be formed all the possible natural numbers that can be formed single digits two digits three digits four digits and so on up to six digit each digit not appearing more than once in each number that means the repetition of the digits is not allowed repetition of the digits is not allowed repetition of the digits is not allowed please make a note of it repetition of the digits is not allowed next logic is an extremely important logic okay we will we have got one more question how many different five digit numbers can be formed five digit numbers can be formed using the digits triple one three eight triple one three comma eight how many different five digit numbers instead of counting what i'll do is i will think logically suppose if i take eight eight can come in any one out of the five places yes or no it has got five choices it has got five choices if eight is kept here three can come in any one out of the four places if eight is kept anywhere still three will have four choices are you all with me five into four that means if i write it like this for example three and eight these are nothing but a triple one triple one triple one triple one all the three are identical all the three are identical suppose for example one two one it is there one two one in how many ways you can arrange it three numbers are there three numbers can be arranged in three factorial one is identical divided by two factorial similarly triple one it is three numbers can be arranged in three factorial by three factorial 
only one way how many total five di different five digit numbers that can be formed by using the di these digits 5 into 4 into 120 i first i will forget the numerical value which is repeated triple one three eight eight can come in any one out of the five places in five ways it can be units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place, ten thousands place. So it is five ways. After eight is kept in any place, three will have remaining four ways. Three will have remaining four ways. Similarly, remaining three digits are there. All the three digits are equal. So all the three digits can be kept in three places because all are identical it is only one way 5 into 4 into 120 you don't need to count any of the cases you don't need to count any of the cases i hope it is clear right idea clear suppose it is like this suppose leela is there leela what will be the answer five letters can come together in five factorial ways l it is two identical e also two identical are there 5 factorial by 2 factorial 2 factorial similarly if it is triple one three eight five digits can arrange among themselves in five factorial one is repeated three times three factorial so it is nothing but five into four into three factorial divided by three factorial answer is nothing but 20 answer is nothing but 20 right so we have done in our textbook by taking uh, alphabets just numerical values i gave triple one three eight triple one three eight is nothing but these five numerical values can be arranged in five factorial one is written three times so five factorial by three factorial five factorial by three factorial is n factorial is n into n minus one into n minus two factorial so five into four into three factorial by three factorial three factorial three factorial cancel so five into four it is nothing but 20 i hope it is clear right please write down sum of digits logic once you understand you can do these problems very very easily sir sum of digits logic first i will explain the concept with an example concept with an example listen carefully concept with an example concept with an example suppose there are three digits one comma two comma three one comma two comma three find the sum of all three digit numbers find the sum of all the three digit numbers that can be formed find the sum of all the three digit numbers that can be formed using the digits one two three case number one repetition of the digits is not allowed repetition of the digits is not allowed repetition of the digits is not allowed first traditional method i will do then i will do counting method then i will tell you anil nayar's way of solving this question right sum of all three digit numbers that can be formed using the digits repetition of the digits is not allowed right first we will do counting just to cross check the answer one two three one two three which all three digit numbers that can form one two three one three two 213 231 312 321 am i right these are all the numbers 123 132 213 231 312 321 he is asking sum of all the three digit numbers if i do sum of all the three digit numbers see how am i counting three is added how many times two times two is added how many times two times 1 is added how many times 2 times i will write down here 3 is added 2 times 2 is added 2 times 1 is added 2 times which is nothing but 3 into 2 here it is 2 into 2 here it is 1 into 2 2 if i take common 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 6 2 6 are 12 2 6 are 12 am i right now, if you see here, listen carefully, sir. Listen carefully. 
these final answer is these the unit supplies these the ten supplies these the hundred supplies what is the unit supplies sum twelve I will take one carry letter see the ten supplies again two is added how many times two plus two which is two into two again one is added how many times two times again three is added how many times two times ten supplies sum is also twelve are you all with me hundred supplies if you observe again three is added two times two is added two times one is added two times again it is nothing but twelve now write down the unit digit two one carried twelve plus one is thirteen three one carried 12 plus 1 is 13 answer for this question just by counting we have not used any mathematics here we just wrote all the possible values just we added to conclude something 12 12 12 12 i'll come back to it 12 12 12 this will be there now answer is 1332 12 what is the unit digit 2 1 carried what is 12 plus 1 13 13 what is the unit digit 3 1 carried what is 12 plus 1 13 answer is 1332 answer is 1332 now listen carefully sir listen carefully these counting i hope it is clear right now this method we will not use it in our examination right this we will star mark please put a star mark on this 12 12 12 12 i'll again get back to you 12 12 12 12 now see method number two method number two after five to ten minutes you will solve these problems orally without using any calculation nothing Method number two. Method number two. Method number two. Anil Nair's approach. I can, I will tell you method two and method three also. Method two. Anil Nair's approach. What are the digits which are present? One, two, three. One, two, three. What do we require? Sum of all three digit numbers sum of all three digit numbers sum of all three digit numbers where the repetition of the digits is not allowed where the repetition of the digits is not allowed okay this is the question i want everybody to listen carefully sir everybody listen carefully three digit numbers i want suppose if i keep units place one how many places are left? Two places are left. How many digits are left? Two digits are left. Two digits can come in two places. In how many ways? Two ways. Are you all with me? Which is nothing but 231 and 321. Suppose if I keep, if I keep two in the units place, how many digits are there? One, three. How many places are there? two places two places two digits again how many ways are there two ways are there two ways are there if i keep units place three again how many digits are there two digits two places which is again nothing but two ways are there two ways are there now think logically if it is if the tens place is one again how many places are there two places are there how many digits are there two ways are there again it is the same two ways again two again two ways again it is three ways here also we will write so these are nothing but two ways here also it is two ways and here also it is two ways so let us see what is happening if it is present in the hundreds place if it is present in the hundreds place one two digits two places that means it is not changing one two ways two two ways and three three ways three three ways three also it is two ways that means if i write hundreds tens and units what will be the sum two ways one number will be there that means units place one will come twice units place two will come twice 
units place 3 will come twice that is what we did it in method number 1 1 into 2 2 into 2 and 3 into 2 what is the sum 3 plus 3 6 6 plus 4 10 it is 12 so these are nothing but 12 these are nothing but 12 these are nothing but 12 one is a vertical way of doing it another is horizontal way of doing it write down only the unit digit 1 carried 12 plus 1 is nothing but 13 3 1 carried 12 plus 1 is nothing but 13 answer is nothing but 1332 answer is nothing but 1332 I hope the idea it is clear only thing instead of writing the numerical value see if I say two ways will have one what is that one these are nothing but 231 these are nothing but 321 two ways it will end with two these is nothing but 312 these is nothing but 132 two ways it will end with three these is nothing but 123 and these is nothing but 213 are you all with me right similarly you write down this one method number two i hope it is clear 12 12 12 write down the unit digit to one carried except the leftmost every place write down the unit digit every place write down the unit digit i hope it is clear method number two in some textbooks they will also do method number three method number three method number three which we call it as a place value method which we call it as a place value method what is this place value method which we will see listen carefully sir we have got good number of examples you will not get a single doubt three digits are one two three three digits are one two three sum of all sum of all three digit numbers sum of all three digit numbers repetition of the digits is not allowed repetition of the digits is not allowed then we will do repetition allowed once we understand the concept now see here listen carefully it is a three digit number a three digit number will be of the form abc if a is one this can be 1 bc are you all with me right if a is 2 this can be 2 bc or this can be 3 bc leftmost can be 1 2 or 3 or b can be 1 this can be a 1 c or this can be a 2 c or this can be a 3 c 1 2 3 can be there in tens place also or it can be units place it can be 1 or it can be 2 or it can be 3 am i right one can come in the leftmost a place or b place or c place now see here listen carefully listen carefully c is nothing but the units place c is nothing but the units place b is nothing but the tens place b is nothing but the tens place a is nothing but the hundreds place. A is nothing but the hundreds place. A is nothing but the hundreds place. Now see here. One can come in hundreds place. One can come in tens place. One can come in units place. One can come in hundreds place. It can come in tens place. It can come in units place. One can come not only one which all other numbers can come two can come three can come are you all with me right one can come in hundreds place it is nothing but one into hundred plus bc one can come in tens place one can come in units place not only one two can come in hundreds place two can come in tens place two can come in two ways if one comes in hundreds place two digits two ways are there I, so it is nothing but into two these is nothing but triple one into six into two these is nothing but triple one into twelve which is nothing but one three three two which is nothing but one three three two this you need to understand it i will explain again by taking each and every key point a three digit number is of the form abc in place of a one can come 
in place of b one can come in place of c one can come one can come in hundreds place or tens place or units place not only one but also two can come in hundreds place tens place and units place three can come in hundreds place tens place and units place if one or two or three can come these three two digits can be permuted among themselves in if one can come remaining two digits two three three two two ways if it is two one three three one so if i fix the leftmost remaining two can come by taking two digits in two ways in two two what is in two two this is nothing but fixing the value of one in hundreds place or tens place or units place fixing either one or two or three remaining two digits can take two values in two ways so answer is a triple one into six into two sir which method is the best method you can use any method with practice after half an hour you decide you decide which one is easy so this is nothing but 100 plus 10 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 into 2 1 plus 2 plus 3 into 2 i hope it is clear so here it is BMR ready units place can have one twice units place can have two twice units place can have three twice what is the sum of the units places three plus three six six plus four ten ten plus two twelve that is the reason it is twelve similarly tens place also twelve hundreds place also twelve hundreds place also twelve one more question I will solve listen carefully sir 1, 2, 3, 4. Please listen carefully. 1, 2, 3, 4. Sum of all four digit number. Till I complete the entire problem set, please do not ask me any doubts. All your doubts, one by one, I will take it out in the problem. Sum of all four digit numbers. Sum of all four digit numbers where the repetition of the digits is not allowed. Where the repetition of the digits is not allowed where the repetition of the digits is not allowed first i will use method 3 which is a place value method method 3 place value method method 3 or method 2 you can use now see step number 1 because i require a four digit number a four digit number is of the form a b c d a four digit number can be is of the form a b c d again listen sir a can come a can come one can come either in a or it can come in the place of b or it can come in the place of c or it can come in the place of d are you all with me so units place tens place hundreds place thousands place one can come either in thousands place or it can come in hundreds place or it can come in tens place or it can come in units place one can come not only one two can come three can come four can come are you all with me one plus two plus three plus four but if one comes remaining three places can be filled by three digits in how many ways three factorial ways so answer is nothing but 4 ones into 10 into 6 which is nothing but 60 into 4 ones answer is 4 6 ending with 0 4 6 ending with 0 one can come in thousands place hundreds place tens place and units place so that is the reason it is thousand plus hundred plus ten plus one why because it is one into thousand here one into hundred one into ten and one not only one two can come three can come four can come right so one plus wherever r condition is there r condition r is nothing but plus that is what we discussed r is nothing but plus one can come either in thousand are in hundreds place are in tens place are in ones place so thousand plus hundred plus ten plus one this is the place value which digit can come either one can come or two can come or three can come or four can come so one plus two plus three plus four if one is fixed remaining three digits can 
arrange among themselves in three places in three factorial which is 4 6 ending with 0 which is 4 6 ending with 0 i hope it is clear these method number 3 method number 2 method 1 is the counting method 1 2 3 4 in case if you are comfortable you can go by the right my approach which i generally do it horizontally anil nayar's way anil nayar's way is nothing but totally four digits are there if one is there three digits can come in three places in six ways similarly two three digits can come in three places in six three if the unit digit is three it is a six if the unit digit is four it is a six that means one is written six times 2 is written 6 times, 3 is written 6 times, 4 is written 6 times, 1 is added 6 times, 2 is added 6 times, 3 is added 6 times, 4 is added 6 times. So, units place sum is 6 common, 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is 60. Same approach is also there for 10s 60, 100s 60 and 1000s also 60. Write down only the unit digit 0, 6 carried, 66. Again, it is 6. So, leftmost, write down the entire number. Same answer, you will get it. Answer is 4, 6 ending with 0. Answer is 4, 6 ending with 0. 4, 6 ending with 0. 4, 6. If the unit digit is 1, if the unit digit is 1, remaining 3 digits can arrange in three places in how many ways 3 into 2 into 1 already we did it in the previous sessions so if it is 1 here 2 can come 3 can come or 4 can come 3 here it is two ways here it is one way 3 into 2 into 1 answer is nothing but 6 so it is nothing but 4 6 ending with 0 4 6 ending with 0 you can do any method method one is writing all the method that method is not advisable that method is not advisable again we will solve last one more example then we will get into a practice problems 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 sum of all five digit numbers sum of all five digit numbers listen carefully sir First repetition of the digits not allowed we will do. Then we will do repetition of the digits allowed. Sum of all five digit numbers where the repetition of the digits is not allowed. Where the repetition of the digits is not allowed. It is a five digit number. Five digit number is of the form A, B, C, D, E. So here directly i am writing units place tens place hundreds place thousands place ten thousands place one can come in ten thousands place or it can come in thousands place it can come in hundreds place it can come in tens place it can come in units place it can come in units place one can be present in any out of the five places it is not only one 2 can come, 3 can come, 4 can come, 5 can come. 2 can come, 3 can come, 4 can come, 5 can come. Suppose if A is there in the leftmost, 1 B C D E. 1 B C D E. 1 is fixed. Remaining how many places are there? 4 places are there. How many digits are there? 4 digits are there. 4 digits can come in 4 places. In how many ways? 4 factorial ways. 4 factorial ways. So, they, I will get 5 ones into 9, 12, 14, 15, 15 into 24. So, answer is 360 into 5 ones. These based on the place value method. 360 into 5 ones. I hope the idea it is clear. Right? I hope why it is 4 factorial also. I am sure it is clear to you. Why? Because if 1 is kept, 1 is kept remaining 4 digits 4 places. It is nothing but 4 factorial. These by using this method. In case if you want to do it horizontally. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sum of all 5 digit numbers. Sum of all 5 digit numbers. Sum of all 5 digit numbers. Repetition of the digits is not allowed. 
repetition of the digit C is not allowed. If the repetition of the digit C is not allowed, first we will write 5 digits. It will be like this. If units place, 1 is there. 4 digits, 4 places. 24 numbers end with 1. Similarly, 24 numbers end with 2. Similarly, 24 numbers end with 3. Similarly, 24 numbers end with 24. Similarly, 24 numbers end with 5 end with 5. So, what will be the unit digit sum? 1 into 24, 2 into 24, 3 into 24, 4 into 24, 5 into 24, 24 common, 9, 12, 15. So, unit digit it is 360. Tens place also it is 360. Hundreds place also 360. Thousands place also 360. Ten thousands place also 360. Write down the unit digit 0. 36 carried, 360 plus 36, 396, 39 carried, only the unit digit 9, 39, 360 plus 39, again 9, 39 carried, 360 plus 39, 399. So, 399960. Everybody kindly reply if this repetition of the digit C is not allowed is it clear to you everybody kindly reply sir which method to choose your comfort your practice anyway we will do more and more problems and everything which one you think is taking less time to solve you use that method everybody kindly reply in the live chat in case if it is clear to you you got any doubts you can ask me either a horizontal method or a place value method Either a horizontal method or a place value method. Kindly reply. Please reply if everything is clear to you. Idea clear, right? Right? Now we will do. Once you say clear, then I will get into repetition of repetition of the digit c is allowed repetition of the digit c is allowed total three examples i did it so more or less it should be self-explanatory for you self-explanatory for you everybody right if unit digit it is one three if unit digit it is 1, 4 digits, 4 places. So, it is nothing but 24. If the unit digit is 2, 4 digits, 4 places. Unit digit is 3, 4 digits, 4 places. That means 1 is... 1 is there in the units place 24 times, 2 is there in the units place 24 times, 3 is there in the units place 24 times, 4 and 5. So, if you add it 1 into 24, 2 into 24, 3 into 24, 4 into 24 and 5 into 24. Now, see. Now, repetition of the digit C is allowed. Repetition of the digit C is allowed. Repetition of the repetition of the digit C is allowed. All the models we will discuss. Let us go one by one. Repetition all are non zero digits. We will take zero once we are comfortable with non zero. Repetition of the digit C is allowed. If the repetition of the digit C is there, suppose one comma two comma three. 1 comma 2 comma 3. Now see here. If 1 comma 2 comma 3 it is there. Now repetition of the digit C is allowed. <coughs> Anil Nair's way and place value. Both will give you the same answer. Anil Nair's way and place value method. Place value method. Let us see. Anil Nair's way. Suppose if it is a three digit number, I want sum of all three digit numbers. Sum of all three digit numbers where the repetition of the digit C is allowed. Where the repetition of the digit C is allowed. If the unit digit is one, here it can be one, two, or three. Repetition of the digit C is allowed. Here it can be one, two, or three. That means with one, how many? 
how many ways i will get nine ways i will get with two how many ways i will get nine ways with three how many ways i will get nine ways i will get that means one is present in the unit digit nine times two is present in the unit digit nine times three is present in the unit digit nine times unit digit will be nine into three plus two plus one nine six are fifty four tens place also fifty four hundreds place also fifty four Units 54, tens 54, hundreds 54. Write down 4. 5 carried, 59. 5 carried. Answer is 5994. Answer is nothing but 5994. I hope the idea it is clear. Now, place value method. Because it is a 3 digit number, which is ABC. Here it is 1, A, A, 1, it is BC. Here B can take. First thing, one can come in hundreds place, one can come in tens place, one can come in units place. This is fixed. Not only one, two can come and three can also come. One plus two plus three. If one is coming in the leftmost, B can take which all values it can take? One, two or three. Three ways it can take. Here also C can take one, two or three. Three ways. Three into three. It is nothing but nine ways. So here it is nothing but triple one into six into nine, which is nothing but fifty four into triple one, which is nothing but five double nine four. Five double fifty four ones are fifty four. Fifty four plus five fifty nine. Five double nine four. Both game the same thing. Why it is nine here? Here. The next value can take any of the digits 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. Here also it can take 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3. You can take either this horizontal method or you can take place value method. Answer will not change. Answer will not change. Answer will not change. Very, very easy if you understand it. Now see here. Suppose if it is 1, 2, 3, 4. If it is 1, 2, 3, 4. Sum of all four digit number. No need of using any formula. Logically, if you go, you will get the answer very, very fast. Sum of all four digit numbers. Repetition of the digits. Repetition of the digits is allowed. Repetition of the digits is allowed. Repetition of the digits is allowed. That means four digit number A, B, C, D. D is a four digit number. So one can come in thousands place. One can come in hundreds place. One can come in tens place. One can come in units place. Not only one, two can come, three can come and four can come. If one is fixed in A, B can take either one, two, three or four. Four values it can take. These also can take four values. These also can take four values. Four into four into four, which is nothing but 64, which is nothing but four ones into 10 into 64. 640 into four ones. I hope the idea it is clear. Sum of all the four digit numbers where the repetition of the digits is not allowed. Where the repetition of the digits is not allowed. I hope the idea it is clear. Sum of all four digit numbers where the repetition of the digits is not allowed. These clear right. Next one. No difference sir. Suppose for example if 0 is there. 0, 1, 2, 3. 0, 1, 2, 3. Sum of all. Sum of all. Four digit numbers. Sum of all. Four digit numbers. Right? First case. Repetition of the digits is not allowed. Repetition of the digits is not allowed. Listen carefully, sir. Repetition of the digits is not allowed. Repetition of the digits is not allowed. Now, first we will do Anil Nair's way. Then I will also tell you place value method. Anil Nair's way. Now, listen carefully, sir. First, I require the sum of units place, then tens place, 
then hundreds place, then thousands place. Units tens, hundreds and thousands. Now, suppose the units place is 0. If the units place is 0, 3 digits are there, 3 places are there. 3 digits can come in 3 places in 3 factorial 6 ways. 1, 2, 3, 1, 3, 2, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3, 1, 3, 1, 2, 3, 2, 1. 6 ways are there. Suppose if the unit digit is 1. If the unit digit is 1, here 0 cannot come. Yes or no? Here 1 cannot come. Here 1 cannot come. Repetition of the digit C is not allowed. That means here 2 can come or 3 can come. That means if the unit digit is 1, leftmost place, how many ways are there? 2 ways are there. Out of 4 digits, leftmost is fixed and the rightmost is fixed. 2 digits, 2 places. Remaining 2 digits can be filled in 2 ways. That means 1, how many ways I got? 4 ways I got. 1, how many ways I got? 4 ways I got. I will do it here. Right? Example, I will do it here. Suppose if it is a 4 digit number, if it is ending with 1, if it is ending with 1, I got 4 ways. What is that 4 ways? Let us see. 2301, 2031, 3021, 3201. These are the 4 numbers which are ending with 1. Yes or no? Right? Again, I am explaining. If the unit digit is 1, leftmost 1 cannot come. Leftmost 0 cannot come. 0 cannot come, 1 cannot come. Out of 4 digits, 2 digits are out. Remaining 2 digits can come in the leftmost. Out of 4, leftmost and rightmost are fixed. Remaining 2 digits can come in 2 ways. Similarly, 2 also. I hope it is clear why it is 4 ways. Why it is 4 ways, I hope it is clear. Now, I will do it in a new slide. These is nothing but 0, 1, 2 and 3. Sum of all 4 digit number. It is easy once you understand, sir. Sum of all 4 digit numbers. Sum of all 4 digit numbers. Listen carefully. This is nothing but sum of all 4 digit numbers. If it is 0, I got 6 numbers. 6 numbers which are ending with 0. If it is 1, there are 4 numbers which are ending with 1. If it is 2, same 4 numbers which are ending with 1. If it is 3, there are 4 numbers which are ending with 1. So, totally what will be the sum of units place? 1 into 4, 2 into 4, 3 into 4. 4 common, 6 fours are 24. 6 fours are 24. Tens place also, it will be the same. Hundreds place also, it will be the same. Because the leftmost cannot take zero. Thousands place, there is a difference. How there will be a difference? Thousands place. Suppose if one comes into the left side, zero can come anywhere to the right hand side. Zero cannot come to the left hand side. Zero cannot come to the left hand side. Zero can come to the left right hand side. If one is there in the leftmost, three digits, three places. Two also it is six. Three also it is six. Six into six, it is nothing but thirty-six. Four two carried twenty-six two. Answer is nothing but three eight double six four. Answer is nothing but three eight double six four. Please understand that because one digit zero is present, because one digit zero is present. 0 cannot come to the leftmost. Be careful when you are working with the leftmost places. Units place, tens place and hundreds place. Why it is changing? Why this is different from these numbers? Why it is different is leftmost. If it is 1, 0 can come to the right side. 3 digits, 3 places, 3 factorial. If 2 comes, Right, if one comes here, these are nothing but 1, 2, 3, 0, 1, 2, 0, 3, 1, 3, 2, 0, 1, 3, 0, 2. Are you all with me? 1, 0, 2, 3, 1, 0, 3, 2. See, there are six numbers which we got. 
I also I also told you how four numbers we are getting it directly just by looking at a question itself you will get these answer as 24 24 24 remember leftmost place and other places leftmost way place value be careful be careful that is not equivalent to 24 if zero is present if zero is present it is not 24 idea it is clear right idea it is clear right now see here the sum of all four digit numbers with the repetition of the digits not allowed and zero as one of their digits place value method we will see zero one two and three zero one two and three sum of all four digit numbers sum of all four digit numbers sum of all four digit numbers repetition of the digits is not allowed little slowly we will do it in place value but once you understand it is easy it is easy sum of all four digit numbers a four digit number is of the form a b c d a four digit number is of the form a b c d if a is there in the left one is there in the leftmost if one is there in the leftmost which is 1 b c d or 2 is there in the leftmost 2 b c d or 3 is there in the leftmost 3 is there in the leftmost what is the other way first case i will write everything a 1 c d a 2 c d a 3 c d one can be there in the tenth place a b 1 d a b 2 d a b 3 d it can be there in the units place a b c 1 a b c 2 listen carefully sir a b c 3 a b c 3 now see here 1 is there in the leftmost 3 digits 3 places 3 digits 3 places here for these the sum will be 6 because 0 can come to the right side are you all with me if a1 cd a1 cd here 1 cannot come here 0 cannot come that means here the sum will be 4 are you all with me that is what we did it units place tens place hundreds place sum is nothing but right the total number of ways we got it as 4 here also it is nothing but 4 here also it is nothing but 4 why because 0 can come to the right side 0 can come to the right side 0 cannot come to the left hand side it is clear right now what is this place units tens hundreds thousand in the thousand place either one can come or two can come or three can come if one two or three comes then the sum is six or it is a plus one can come in hundreds place one can come in tens place one can come in units place in this one either one can come or two can come or three can come all these will give a result how much it is four so these are nothing but thousand into six six are thirty six plus these triple one into six into four these are nothing but thirty six thousand if you add 24 into triple 1, the same answer you will get. Is this line clear to you? Only if this line is clear, then you will be able to understand it. 1 can be there in the leftmost. 2 can be there in the leftmost. 3 can be there in the leftmost. So, leftmost value, place value, it is nothing but 1000. 1 can come, 2 can come, 3 can come. If 1, 2, 3 comes in the leftmost, remaining 3 digits, 3 places, it is 6. Other than the leftmost, other values, it will have some, how much it is? 4. Why it is 4? Because the leftmost 1 cannot be taken, 0 cannot be taken. 
2 can be taken, 3 can be taken. 2 cases, here also 2 cases, 2 into 2, 4. Only there is a difference between the leftmost case and the other cases. There is just a difference between the leftmost case and the, please write down sir. There is a difference between the leftmost case and the other cases. Other cases, all the values will be same. Leftmost case, the value will be different. Why? Because to the right side of it, 0 can come. To the right side of it, 0 can come. To the right side of it, 0 can come. Again, the more and more practice you do, the more and more comfortable you will feel. Probably another 10 problems will be there on the base. Another same model. Now see, we will do 5 digit number. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Sum of all. Sum of all. 5 digit numbers. Sum of all. 5 digit numbers that can be formed using the digits. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. Where the repetition of the digits is not allowed. Where the repetition of the digits is not allowed. A last case is repetition of the digits is allowed. Now it is a 5 digit number. Listen carefully sir. A, B, C, D, E. You don't need to write all this but for your information I am writing it. Leftmost case it can be 1. It cannot be 0. So it can be 1 B, C, D, B, C, D, E. 2 B, C, D, E. 3 B, C, D, E. And 4 B, C, D, E. 4 B, C, D, E. D is the leftmost place. Now B can take 1. A, 1, C, D, E. A, 2, C, D, E. D is for your understanding. Once you understand, you can eliminate this step. A, 3, C, D, E. Next is A, 4, C, D, E. Next, it can also take C value. A, B, 1, D, E. A, B, 2, D, E. A, B, 3, D, E. A, B, 4, D, E. It can also be there in the tens place. A, B, C, 1, E. A, B, C, 2, E. A, B, C, 4, E. A, B, C, 3, E. It can be there in the units place. A, B, C, D, 1. A, B, C, D, 2. A, B, C, D, 3. A, B, C, D, 4. A, B, C, D, 4. Now, 1 can be there in 10th units, 10th, 100th, 1000, 10,000. So, 10,000 into 10,000 into either 1 can come or 2 can come or 3 can come or 4 can come. Remaining 4 digits are there, 4 places. So, it is 24. This is the answer for all these cases. Now, next case, one can come in thousands place or hundreds place or tenth place or it can be units place. Thousand plus hundred plus ten plus one. Which all can come? One can come or two can come or three can come or four can come. Here, one is already fixed. Here, one cannot come. Zero cannot come. So, one cannot come, zero cannot come. 3 digits can come, 3 digits can come, out of 5 digits, I fixed 2 digits, 3 digits, 3 values are there, so it is nothing but into 80, finish, into 18, 10,000 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 into 24 plus 1000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 1 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 into 18. Why these 18 came? Leftmost 0 cannot come. Leftmost 1 cannot come. So, it can take any of the 3 digits. 2, 3, 4. Remain out of 5 digits, 2 digits are fixed. Remaining 3 digits, it is 3 factorial. Some will be same for this, 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 this. So, in the Thousands place 1, 2, 3, 4 can come. In hundreds place 1, 2, 3, 4 can come. In tenth place 1, 2, 3, 4 can come. In units place 1, 2, 3, 4 can come. I hope the idea it is clear. Kindly reply in the live chat if this idea it is clear. If this idea it is clear, kindly reply. 
नवीन आई होप डिजिट जीरो इट इज ऑल्सो क्लियर डिजिट जीरो इट इज ऑल्सो क्लियर एवरी बडी कैंडली रिप्लाई फोर डिजिट फोर प्लेस इफ द लेफ्ट मोस्ट सो फोर फैक्टोरियल सो इट इज नथिंग बट थ्री इंटू थ्री फैक्टोरियल सिक्स थ्री आर एन एवरी बडी कैंडली रिप्लाई सर these all these things you don't need to write once you understand directly you will write the answer everybody kindly reply sir any doubts any doubts any doubts now let us do a repetition 0 1 2 3 0 1 2 3 sum of all four digit numbers sum of all four digit numbers sum of all four digit numbers repetition of the digits is allowed if the repetition of the digits is allowed no need to use any formula logically if you solve it will be clear right it cannot be it cannot be 4 into 3 factorial right if it is middle A one C D E, A one C D E. This is zero one two three four. It is zero one two three four. A cannot take zero. A cannot take one. So this can take either two or three or four. So it has to be three into three factorial. Six into three it is eighteen. Six into three, it is eighteen. Mohan Vamsi, some calculation mistake. Maybe you have done it. I hope it is clear, right? If one is there in the leftmost only, I am getting twenty-four numbers. Leftmost itself is twenty-four, right? If it is not leftmost, how come it can be twenty-four? It cannot be twenty-four. Next one. Repetition of the digits is allowed. Zero one two three zero one two three. Sum of all four digit numbers. Sum of all four digit numbers. Repetition of the digit C is allowed. Repetition of the digit C is allowed. Repetition of the digit C is allowed. No formula, nothing, sir. Logically, we will go. If it is a four-digit number, which is A B C D, again first problem, right? So I am writing any everything. One B C D, again it is two B C D, again it is three B C D, again here it is A one C D, A two C D, A two C D, A three C D. A three C D. Next one. <coughs> Now see here. A B one D. A B two D. A B three D. Last one. A B C one. No change, sir. A B C two. A B C three. A B C three. One is there in units tens, hundreds, thousand. So thousand into either one can come, or two can come, or three can come. B can take zero, one, two, three, four cases. Four into four into four, which is nothing but sixty-four. Plus one can be there in hundreds place, or tens place, or units place. Either one can be there, or two can be there, or three can be there. Here A, here A, A cannot take zero, so it is one two three. C can take repetition allowed zero two three and zero two three. Four into four sixteen, sixteen into three forty eight. This is the answer. I don't know why people use a lot of formulas. to solve this question when you can solve it very very logically if you understand it i hope it is clear if one is there in the leftmost if one is there in the leftmost b can take 0 to 3 four cases 4 into 4 into 4 64 1 2 3 64 only thing is that if one is not there in the leftmost if one is not there in the leftmost 
here zero cannot take because it's a four digit number so here it can take one two three here zero two three zero two three four into four into three which is 48 either one or two or three it can be there in hundreds of place or tens of place or units of place hundreds of place tens of place or units of place hundreds of place tens of place or units of place that's the reason do not miss any of the classes sir do not miss any of these classes these concepts probably this kind of methodology is difficult to find in the regular textbooks formula based approach you will not be able to remember it in your examination i hope it is clear every case we did it now let us solve this question very very fast find the sum of all the four digit number four digit number is nothing but a b c d a b c d if a it is nothing but one here four four digits are there so b can take any of the four digits c can take any of the three d can take any of the digits. so it is nothing but 24 so one it is nothing but 24 are you all with me two it is nothing but 24 3 it is nothing but 24, 4 it is nothing but 24, 5 it is nothing but 24, 4 digit numbers, units place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. So it is nothing but 15 into 24, 360. First one answer is 360, 360, 360, 360. Directly you can do it. Or or you can also do by using place value. A one can be there in units, tens, hundreds, thousand. So either in thousands place, or in hundreds place, or in tens place, or in ones place. Either one can come, or two can come, or three can come, or four can come, or five can come. Remaining if one is fixed, remaining three digits. 3 digits 4. So it is nothing but into 24. This is nothing but 4 ones into 4 ones into 15 into 24. 4 ones into 15 into 24. I hope it is clear. <coughs> so this is nothing but 0, 36 carry, 39, it is 39, 399. 399 399 i hope it is clear right so one it is 24 224 324 424 524 so either you can use these anil nayar's way or you can use the place value repetition of the digits is not allowed repetition of the digit just by these questions most of the students leave it already we have done some 8 to 10 problems based upon this one. So I think it should not be any doubt for you. Sum of all four digit numbers. Four digit numbers is 1 A, B, C, D. If A is 1, B can take 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 into 5 into 5. 125. 125 numbers will have leftmost one. So A can be thousands place it can take. Hundreds place it can take, tens place it can take, ones play, units place it can take. Either one can come or two can come or three can come or four can come, five can come. So remaining three sum is nothing but 125. Direct answer. It is nothing but four ones into 15 into 125. Direct single step. A 2 minutes problem can be converted into a 5 seconds. If you have understood the approach, whatever I discussed very, very clearly. Because 0 is not there, the process comp will become much more easy. It is just nothing but calculation. Sum of all 4 digit numbers. 4 digit numbers, it is nothing but A, B, C, D. Which all digits are there? 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sum of all four digit numbers. Sum of all four digit numbers. Already we did. It is nothing but 1 B C D or 2 B C D or 3 B C D. You might get confused. So I am writing it. Ideally with practice you should eliminate it. 
it is 5 bcd here it is nothing but a1 cd a2 cd a3 cd a4 cd and it is a5 cd similarly it is ab 1d ab 2d ab 3d ab 4d ab 5d one can be abc1 abc2 abc3 abc4 abc5 abc5 now see here one by one we will go which case first it is the leftmost case leftmost case units place tens place hundreds place thousands place so in thousands place either one can come or two can come or three can come or four can come or five can come one can come two can come three can come four can come five can come if one is already present one two three four five five digits are there so five digits five, totally six digits are there one is fixed five digits means five it can take any value zero two three four five out of six digits two digits are fixed remaining it is five into four into three which is nothing but into 60 rahul here you should be able to understand here 0 to 5 total 6 digits leftmost it is 1 1 is over remaining 5 digits are there that 5 digits can be given to b 5 digits any digits can be given to b total 6 digits are there out of which 1 is fixed b is fixed remaining it is 4 into 3 so 1000 into 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5 into 60 plus 1 it can be in hundreds place it can be in tens place it can be in units place it can be 1 2 3 4 5 1 2 3 4 5 some we have to determine here 0 cannot come here 0 cannot come here 1 cannot come 0 cannot come 1 cannot come so 4 digits will come 4 digits will come i hope it is clear out of 6 digits 2 digits are fixed remaining 4 digits are there here it is nothing but 4 into 3 so 4 into 4 16 16 into 3 48 this is the answer this is the answer so answer is nothing but 15 into 60 900 these kind of problems one more revisit is required sir this is nothing but triple one into 15 into 48 triple one into 15 into 48 i hope it is clear only thing probably little bit extra attention is required on this counting these numbers again i am telling you why it is 48 if the hundreds place it is one leftmost place zero cannot come one cannot come that means it can take two three four five four digits it can take so it is four out of six digits two digits are already fixed remaining four digits are there four digits can be given to c and remaining three digits can be given to d so four into four into three same process works for every other value every other value i hope it is clear definitely one revisit is required for you to understand it very clearly i hope it is clear now find the sum of all four digit numbers four digit numbers which is nothing but a b c d 1 b c d 2 b c d 3 b c d 4 b c d 5 b c d 5 b c d i think after this problem you should not get a single doubt sir again b a 1 c d next it is nothing but a 2 c d next it is nothing but a3 cd next it is nothing but a4 cd next it is nothing but a5 cd a5 cd next a b 1d a b 2d a b 3d a b 4d a b 
5D. Four digit numbers, right? Last unit digit ABC1, ABC2, ABC3, ABC4, ABC5. Now we will do one by one. Easy. One by if you go slowly, it is clear. Units, tens, hundreds, thousand. So in the thousand place, either one can come, two can come, three can come, four can come, five can come, five can come. Here B can take which all values? Repetition is allowed, right? So zero to five, six into six into six. Any digits can come. So into two sixty, into two sixty. Now one can come in. Hundreds place or tens place or ones place. Either one can come or two can come or three can come or four can come or five can come. Here ye zero cannot come. One to five can come. Zero to five can come. Zero to five can come. Six into six, thirty six. Thirty six into five, one eighty. Direct answer into one eighty. Into one eighty. It is easy if you understand it, sir. If you understand it, it is easy. Just to tell you that units, tens, hundreds, thousand. In the thousand place, one or two or three or four or five are there. So thousand into one or two or three or four or five. Every time the remaining numbers are nothing but two sixteen. In the hundreds place. One is there, two is there, three is there, four is there, five is there. In hundreds place, one, two, three, four, five. It can also come in tens place. It can also come in units place. It can also come in units place. Remaining sum will be one eighty. After this class, try to solve. Take your own numerical values and try to understand my logic. It will be extremely easy once you understand. Everybody kindly reply. Everybody kindly reply in case if you have understood the logic. Everybody, I want each and every viewer to reply it if this logic is clear to you. If this logic is clear to you, kindly reply. Even the digits repetition also, it's an easy question. Even the digits repetition. Now see here. Find the sum of all the four-digit numbers. Four digit numbers, which is nothing but A, B, C, D, which is nothing but A, B, C, D. That can be formed using the digits one double two three, one double two three. Where one eighty, it is nothing but five. This is nothing but six. This is nothing but six. Six into six thirty six. Thirty six into five is one eighty. Thirty-six into five is one eighty. Now find the sum of all the four-digit numbers that can be formed using the digits one double two three. A digit is getting repeated. Suppose if leftmost it is one, remaining how digits are how much? Two two three. Two two three can be arranged in three factorial by two factorial. That means I will get three. Yes or no? Similarly. If it is two, if it is two, if it is two, remaining how many numbers are there? One, two, three. One, two, three. How many? I will get three factorial. So totally, I will get six. Similarly, if it is three, if it is three, how many? I will get one, two, two. One, two, two. One, two, two. It is nothing but three factorial by two is identical to factorial. Which is nothing but three. Which is nothing but three. Which is nothing but three. I hope it is clear. That means if if one is there, three ways I will get units, tens, hundreds, thousand. So in thousands place one can come. Hundreds place one can come. Tens place one can come. Units place one can come. Units place which number can come? One can come. Either one can come or three can come. In both the case, I will get the sum as remaining. How many ways I will get three? Remaining ways I will get three. So if two is coming in plus, if two is coming in thousands place, 
or hundreds place or tenth place or units place if 2 is coming what will be the remaining numbers i will get 6 finish this is the answer so 1000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 1 which is nothing but 4 ones into 4 into 3 plus 1000 plus 100 plus 10 plus 1 4 ones into 2 into 6 why am i writing only 1 and 3 only 1 and 3 only 1 and 3 i am getting the number of remaining ways of arranging b c d it is 3 for 1 and 3 i am getting the sum 3 if 2 is present in thousands place or hundreds place or tens place or one place i am getting the sum as 6 you don't need to probably not, not even remember any formula you can do it not even remember any formula you can do it i hope this idea it is clear one more example i will solve sum of all four digit numbers this is a little cat replica question using the digits eight double five two eight double five two sum okay now eight double five two we did the case where the repetition of the digits is not allowed sir Again, I will do repetition of the digits is allowed. I took the heading as repetition of the digits is not allowed. If it is allowed, then the process is much easy. Write sum of all four digit numbers. Sum of all four digit numbers that can be formed using the digits. 8552, 8552. Nothing you do, sir. A four digit number is of the form A, B, C, D. If A is 8, remaining 3 digits are there, double 5 to. These 3 digits can be arranged among themselves in 3 factorial. 5 is duplicated twice, 2 factorial. So, B, C, D can be arranged in how many ways? 3 ways. Suppose if the leftmost, if it is taking 5, remaining how many digits are there? 8, 5 to. These 3 digits can be arranged among themselves in 3 factorial which is nothing but 6 case. Similarly, if it is 2, here this will be 8 double 5. 8 double 5 will be 3 factorial by 2 factorial which is 3. Not, right? Understood, right? For 8 and 2, I am getting the remaining ways of arranging it as 3. Remaining ways of arranging it as 3. Now, answer over. It can be there in thousands place or hundreds place or tens place or units place which all numbers can be present either 8 can be present or 2 can be present if they are present remaining can be arranged in three ways or plus if five thousands place or hundreds place or tens place or units place 5 can be there if 5 it is there how many ways six ways such an easy question if you know the logic if you do not know this logic you will think that these kind of questions are very very difficult these kind of questions are very very difficult we are using the solving the case repetition of the digits is not allowed then we will do repetition of the right i hope it is clear anyway sorry sorry right anyway one double two three means two is getting repeated two is getting repeated there is no question of repetition of the digits is not allowed two is getting repeated twice thousand plus hundred plus ten plus one i hope the idea it is clear is the idea clear one more logic we will do one more problem we will do then it will be very very clear to you very very clear to you it's all about having a conceptual knowledge. It is five digit number. Please take the numbers as two double one, two double one, five comma seven, two double one, five comma seven, two double one, five comma seven. Sum of all five digit number. One is getting repeated twice. A, B, C, D. If A is there as a two remaining which all digits are there 1 comma 1 comma 5 comma 7 
this phone can be arranged in four factorial one it will be two factorial which is nothing but six if one it is there remaining numbers are two one five seven these four numbers can arrange among themselves in four factorial which is 24 if it is five is present remaining it will be two double one seven two double one seven is nothing but 4 factorial by 2 factorial which is nothing but 6. If it is 7 then it will be 2 double 1 5. 2 double 1 5. 4 numbers 4 factorial 2 factorial which is nothing but 6. I want a 5 digit number. 5 digit means units, tens, hundreds, thousand, ten thousand. So either in ten thousands place or in thousands place are in hundreds place are in tens place are in ones place where all similar these are all similar so either two can come or five can come or seven can come in all the three cases i will get the remaining arrangement as six plus if i take the next case either in ten thousands place are in thousands place are in hundreds place are in tenth place or in the units place one can come if one comes the remaining numbers can be arranged in 24 finish such an easy question find the sum of all the five digit numbers that can be formed using the digits two double one five comma seven do not miss any class of permutation and combination a lot of concepts which we are going to discuss lot of concepts which we are going to discuss i hope the idea is clear just to go around and play with the answer option now if you see here D is divisible by 3, D is divisible by 3, answer should be divisible by 3, answer should be, so D is nothing but 5 ones into 14 into 6, 84, D is nothing but 5 ones into 24, everybody kindly reply if the logic key is clear, everybody, I hope the logic key is clear, sum of all sum of all four digit numbers four digit numbers means thousands place hundreds place tens place one units place either one can come or two can come or three can come or four can come a b c d if it is one three digits three fact three places are there into three factorial answer over these is nothing but 4 ones into 10 into 6. 4 ones into. 4 ones into. Right? 10 into 6. I hope it is clear. These are nothing but. Right. So, I think 4 into 3. These are nothing but 12. Calculation mistake. Here also it is nothing but 12. So, these are nothing but put into 2, sir. Here put into. Here also into 2. Just to put into to calculation mistake, please take care. I hope the idea it is clear. Find the sum of all the four digit numbers formed using 0, 1, 2, 3. This is a take home for you. You can solve it slowly. Two cases try to do it. Case number one. First revise the notes and then you can solve it. This is nothing but repetition of the digits not allowed. Try to do it repetition of the digits is not allowed try to do it and repetition of the digits allowed using the place value method slowly do it we have already done the similar kind of question that is the reason i am not discussing i hope it is clear next one how many six digit numbers start r end r r is nothing but union n of u a union b it is nothing but n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b minus n of a intersection b what is r r and is nothing but an intersection r is nothing but union r is nothing but union and is nothing but intersection and is nothing but intersection and is nothing but intersection now 
This is nothing but how many six digit numbers start or end with an even digit. Let this talk about a set which start with even digit. With which starts with even digit. What do you mean by starts with even digit? There is a six digit number. There is a six digit number. It starts with even digit. So it is Z, 2, 4, 6 or 8. 0 cannot be taken in the left hand side. So here it can be 0 to 9. Here it will be 0 to 9. Here it will be 0 to 9, 0 to 9 and 0 to 9. So these is nothing but 4 into 10 power 5. 4 into 10 power 5. Let me write it as 40 into 10 power 4. I will tell you why am I writing like this. It is starting with an even digit. Now, n of b, it is ending with an even digit. If it is ending with an even digit, if it is ending with an even digit, six digit number, ending, ending means this can be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Yes or no? 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. Here it can take any value from 1 to 9. So it is 0 to 9, 0 to 9, 0 to 9, 0 to 9. So here it is 9 into 10, 10, 10, 10. 9 into 10 power 4 into these is nothing but 5 cases. So it is nothing but 45 into 10 power 4. Starting with even digit, I got 40 into 10 power 4. Ending with even digit, I got 45 into 10 power 4. A intersection B. It is a six digit number. It is a six digit number. So this can be 0, 2, 4, 6 or 8. This can be 2, 4, 6 or 8. These 0 to 9. So 4 into 5. 20 into 10 power 4. 20 into 10 power 4. So 40 plus 45, 85. 85 minus 20. 65 into 10 power 4. How many? six digit numbers either start or end with an even digit r is nothing but a union condition r is nothing but an union condition so n of a union b is n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b minus n of a intersection b i hope the idea it is clear right minus n of a intersection b Write six digit numbers. One more, write how many six digit numbers have the property that product of product of the first and last it is even. When I say product of first and last it is even. Case number one. If first, if one number first digit it is even, even into any number it will be even even into last digit it could be anything it will be case number two last two digit is even first digit is even last digit is even case number three first and last digit is even first and the last digit is even now you know how to solve it already similar model which we discussed these is an r condition this is an R condition. Either this or this or this. Product will be. When, when I say A into B, it is even. At least one of A comma B, it is even. At least one of A comma B, it is even. Even into any number, it is even. Either both of them is even or one of them is even. First is even, last is even and first and last is even. I hope we have already discussed the logic first digit even first digit even means 2 4 6 or 8 remaining it will be 0 to 9 0 to 9 0 to 9 so it is nothing but 4 into 10 power 5 40 into 10 power 4 40 into 10 power 5. first digit last digit means this will be 0 to 4 6 or 8 this will be 1 to 9. So here it is 0 to 9. So it is 5 into 45 into 10 power 4. I hope it is clear right. First and last. 
फाइव इंटू फोर इंटू टेन पवर फोर ट्वेंटी इंटू टेन पवर फोर एनी ऑफ दीज केस आर इज नथिंग बट प्लस एड ऑल दीज थ्री यू विल गेट दि आंसर एड ऑल दीज थ्री यू विल गेट दिज आंसर सिमिलरली दी इज ऑलसो ए टेक होम फॉर यू Take home. I did it for a six-digit number. Now this is for a nine-digit number. Nine-digit number. I hope the idea it is clear. Product of first and last it is even. Product of first and last it is even. So <coughs> I hope you can also use this same logic. So. One is even. Two, four, six are right. B could be anything. So try to use the same concept of n of a union b is nothing but n of a plus n of b minus n of a intersection b. Because if I take a even, even into even, even into odd, even into even. So in that one there could be some duplicates same case do it for a six digit number as well as a nine digit number as well as a nine digit number i hope the idea it is